Hello everyone and welcome to the Impact Play. My name is Mohammed, otherwise known as It's Yaku, and I am your show's and your producer on the Ones and Twos, and we are your one-stop shop for the news, discussions, and reviews around gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, esports, and music. We're also keen on uplifting voices, even highlighting the stories. Go join us live over at Twitch.tv backslash to make play where we are live recording, and you will also click on the notification bell so you will be notified for notified when we do go live. Or later on youtube.com backslash the play is where you want to be if you are unable to join us live you'd catch the podcast later on or via your favorite podcast platform and simply search for the impact playing so no matter however you consume your content or whatever you consume it we are there this board keeps the light running and keeps the content coming you can learn more by joining us over on discord where you can get access to some exclusive content including an added version of the show a whole ton of content before everyone else and more. We're all also epic partners as to every producer you make with an epic store, whether it be Rocket League, Fortnite, Full Guys, and more. No matter what you play or how you play, even a free to play title, or whether it be Rocket League, Fortnite, Full Guys, no matter what you play, or even if you're buying any few bucks, or whatever the case may be, as long as you use our creator code and make play, you will get a commission and a kickback to help support us in a brand new way and no extra cost to you. This episode of the Emic Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, we will tell you about that later. This is episode 308. And on the agenda, we have your summer game fest roundup from Xbox Games and the Starfield Direct to the PC Gamer Show. Meta is testing reels on the Quest. Apple's WWDC 2023. New features coming to WhatsApp. Ads could be making their way to Prime Video. Captain America Brave New World. A Leprechaun movie reboot. The NBA Finals are still underway. UFC 289 results. Manchester City are your 2023 UEFA League champions. The VCTs. New changes coming to League of Legends and Valorant. The CMAs. Hip Hop's 50th anniversary, new music from The Weeknd, and Nicki Minaj plus the top stories of the week. So welcome to our very first segment of the show. We already discussed what we have been playing and what do we have been enjoying essentially? What do we have been up to? So the only thing that I have been playing uh, lately is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, I want to say. But you know what's funny? I've gotten a lot further than, than uh, when I played it originally on the original Game Boy. And the, and the reason why is because I Googled, Googled the walkthrough. You know, back then, we didn't have no internet. We didn't have nothing. We didn't even have cell phones back then. <laughs> so I made it so easy. And I'm like, I never went far in this ever. Like where I am, and then I found myself like, I, I, and I also found myself lost. I'm like, what the? Okay, I gotta figure this out. Let me pause it, and let me get, let me get to it later. But yeah, I'm having a blast with it. But that's it. And I've also been watching the Mandalorian season two. I'm still uh, maybe three or four episodes away from the season finale, and then I'll be able to watch season three and do a review there as well. So. I guess that's about it, folks. I guess we'll get into some housekeeping news, folks, after this. Introducing its Team Impact, born in Atlanta and powered by the Impact Play. Learn more by going to itsteamimpact.com. Once again, that is itsteamimpact.com. You can sign up for your free 30-day trial and immediately get access to one credit. And if you are Prime, get access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com backslash play. Once again, that link is audibletrial.com backslash play. Alrighty, folks. So, uh, if, like I said, if you guys missed uh, Exodus Summer Game Fest and all those live streams, if you missed them, they are... Uh, the VODs, or should say the live streams are of the VODs, are available on our YouTube channel. So youtube.com backslash play is where you want to be for that content. In addition, uh, let's see, I was out on the field Friday night on assignment covering uh, the milestone, uh, Milestones Black Country Man EP release for the Impact Play. So you could uh, catch that coverage episode sometime this week. Uh, should be done with the editing and so on and so forth. 
So yeah, be, be in the lookout for that content coming away. If you do like that content, there is uh, a slew of artist perform performances and what have you. In celebration of uh, his EP release. All right, and lastly, we are still doing a fundraiser, and this is our third year in ever since our foundation of uh, Impact Play. Uh, we've been doing a fundraiser, and we're still committed to uh, rallying funds for uh, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, made possible through Extra Life. So if you wish to do donate, we could donate as little as a dollar, make a difference in a child's life, you can simply go uh, go to our Extra Life URL, and in our about pages, if you're watching live on Twitch or YouTube or what have you, uh, it'll be on the about pages. If you guys uh, do make donations, you, know, you're, you could uh, put your gamer tag, or you could put whatever you want to be read uh, on the show. Please be mind. Please be mindful. Make it respectful, uh, non-offensive, and just keep it open-minded. Otherwise, we will read your donation live on the stream. If if you do end up making a donation when we're offline, uh, we will just simply uh, do it when we are, are recording a new episode of Demic Play. Otherwise, I guess let's get into the news, folks. We're gonna start with some gaming, or should I say, a whole ton of gaming. You guys hear that? It sounds like it's Summer Game Fest, which means there's a whole ton, a slew of uh, gaming announcements, showcases, and more. So the first one up is, uh, actually, yeah. So the first one up is Summer Game Fest itself. Uh, give me a second. Let me find it. Okay, there we go. I got it. All right, Summer Game Fest itself, coming over from IGN, the roundup. So, we have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's coming uh, early 2024. We got a trailer. Uh, and apparently, it's going to be a two-CD uh, release, apparently. Uh, next up, we have Spider-Man 2. Uh, got an Oct is getting a release date, or she's got a release date of October 20th of this year, finally. Uh, let's see. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, got announced, or should I say, got revealed. And it's coming to next, uh, no, actually, uh, past gen and current gen consoles for so the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, and the One, Nintendo Switch, and PC, uh, January 18, 2024. It's a side scrolling action adventure. So we got Marvel, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mortal Kombat 1 got uh, gameplay, uh, uh, so gameplay that was revealed. Uh, Fortnite uh, has a crossover with Transformers, which we did. Uh, it was leaked earlier uh, last week, which we did. Uh, we did a uh, report on. And we have Sonic Superstars. This is a new uh, 2D classic Sonic uh, com uh, game coming this year. Uh, Alan Wake 2 uh, got it reveal. Uh, we have Lake of Dragon Gaiden is coming this November. Star Trek Infinite was announced. Uh, the full reveal is coming June 16th. Uh, John Carpenter's Toxic Commando was revealed. It's currently a, a uh, it's going to be a current gen uh, release, so Xbox Series X, S, PS5, and PC next year. We have uh, Sandland, a new action game from Akira. Toriyama and Bandai Namco. It looks like a Dragon Ball game almost. And then I'm looking at it. Uh, so no release date. Uh, we have Paul World. Uh, it's apparently a Pokemon type game with guns. Uh, the Lord of the Rings Return to Mora. It's coming this fall. Uh, we have Final Fantasy 7. Uh, Ever Crisis. Got a reveal. We have Banisher Ghost of New Eden got, got a, uh, a gameplay reveal. We have Baldur's Gate 3. We uh, introduced uh, Jason Isaac as a major villain in the game. Twisted Metal got a, an official clip. Uh, well, uh, apparently, it's the live action that's coming to Peacock on July 27th, the day after my birthday. Marvel Snap is getting a new competitive mode. 
Uh, we have Neutral for Season 4 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, we have a new map that is coming in the form of... Uh, let me see. What does it say here? Vondo. A Path of Exile 2 got a, game, a gameplay trailer. We have Street Fighter 6 is getting a crossover with Exo Primal uh, in, the, in the form of DLC. Lies of P uh, is, uh, let's see, uh, is getting delayed to September 19th. And apparently there will be a demo of the game that you can play the first two chapters of the, of the upcoming uh, title. Uh, Netflix uh, rele uh, released a trailer for The Witcher Season 3. A 140,000 uh, Space Marine 2 uh, revealed co-op uh, co mode. Uh, Nicholas Cage uh, was on stage to, I guess, discuss his cl uh, collab with the Dead by Daylight. And, it's, and his uh, upcoming DLC coming to the game. Yes, Your Grace... Uh, Snowfall uh, reveals some gameplay. Uh, Witchfire is coming to early access in September. Uh, Remnant 2 uh, got a release date of July 25th. And Mortals of Avon uh, got an extended gameplay. Under the Waves uh, got, is getting uh, an August release date. Uh, Hawkeye Star Rail is getting a PS5 release window. It's coming in quarter 4 of 2023. Uh, let's see, Black Desert Online Expansions uh, got a new trailer. Uh, Lies Finger, the Time Shift Warrior, was revealed. It's coming to PC later this year. Uh, Fire Farm got a, uh, got a release date and a PC reveal. Uh, September 8th, it's also coming to the Switch. A Throne in Liberty got a new trailer. Uh, Party Animals has a release date of September 20th. Uh, let's see. Apparently, it's coming to a PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S. Uh, Xbox and Porsche uh, partnered up on Porsche's 75th anniversary uh, with a with Xbox uh, for a collection of new Xbox Series X S console themed after Porsche cars. Earned for sale, but you could enter a sweep tricks for a chance to win. And that's all we got on that front. Next up is the Day of the Devs coming over from GameSpot. Uh, car, car life uh, was highlighted during the show. Okay, we have... So the titles are... Well, we have a couple of them, not that much. Hyper Light Breaker. I'm just going to read them off. Uh, Simple Times, Viewfinder, Hunty, Vilskate, Cocoon, E.T. Summer Hill, Eternites, Virtual Gadgets, Mars First Logistics, uh, Salt Sea Chronicles. Uh, that's it. Moving on to developer uh, digital's showcase coming over from The Verge. We have a Wizard with a Gun, The Tales Principle 2, Baby Steps, Human Fall Flat 2. Well, that's it. Okay. Girl the Collective Showcase. <laughs> we have Super Space uh, Club. Mm, excuse me. Uh, Aton Blast. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Sacrifier? Sacrifier. Uh, Lake Seasons Greetings. Uh, DLC. Uh, Lil Guardsman. Uh, Gossip Gameplay. A World of Horror. We got a date of October 19th for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and PC. Uh, Europa Gameplay. And then uh, we have a lot. So. Like literally a whole ton of uh, video games. You guys, instead of checking the article, I'm gonna share with you, uh, share that with you live in chat for those of you watching. All right. Uh, next up is the Xbox Games Showcase and Starfield Direct. Uh, so we also did live stream this as well, uh, but we're getting into everything that was revealed or announced and what have you. We have uh, an avowed. Is launching in 2024 for Xbox Series X, S, Windows PC, Steam, and Cloud. Of course, uh, Game Pass Day 1. 
uh, it'll be released in 2024. Uh, in in Zile, Entertainment uh, announced Clockwork Revolution. Uh, uh, we have Fable, A New Beginning. No, I'm sorry, Fable. Uh, a player going against pre pre uh, presents Fable, upcoming RPG. So, I got a reveal finally. Um, what Forza Motorsport has a release date of October. Uh, October what? October 10th. For Xbox Series X, S, and PC. And then more details were uh, shared for the cover cards with General Motors. Uh, we have the 2023 number one Cadillac Racing V Series R Racer and the 2024 uh, Chevrolet Corvette E Ray will be available for fans to drive in Forza Motorsport. Uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, the next generation, is powered by the evolved Asobo Studios engine. Uh, it's coming in 2024. Noah Sage Hellblade 2. Uh, got a reveal and it's coming in 2024 we have South of Midnight uh, has been announced and then uh, the Starfield Direct of course reveals some extended gameplay for Starfield and I believe it's coming yeah September 6th uh, we have T Towerborn Uh, coming next year, and then we have uh, 33 Immortals. We have City Skylines 2, uh, October 24th. Dungeons of Hinterberg. Uh, we have, how do you pronounce this? Joe Sant was revealed. Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth was revealed. A metaphor, Refantasio, was announced. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Uh, Pay D3, uh, got some gameplay. Uh, Persona 3 Reload. Uh, let's see. No, uh, Persona 5 Tactica uh, is a new spinoff. Game Pass, uh, we have uh, Star Wars Outlaws was re revealed, the first open world Star Wars game. Uh, still Awakes the Deep, Game Pass. And there is some a new hardware that was announced. Uh, the new uh, the Xbox Series S uh, is coming in carbon black. And also, instead of the 512 gigabytes, it's going to have a terabyte of storage. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be available to pre-order well uh, today at three forty nine ninety nine, which I'm interested in getting, and it will be really at least September first. So I'm interested in getting this. I was in the mood for getting a, a Series S for when I travel or what have you, so I can have something to game with. And th this good thing I didn't get it because this is is one terabyte, so I'd rather wait for this. And we, uh, we have a new limited Starfield uh, limited edition wireless controller and headset was announced. Uh, the controller will be for seventy nine ninety nine. dollars uh, Headset is 124 99 uh, Game sold separately. It's available now. And will be released September 6th. Uh, let's see. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty uh, was re revealed. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online Necrom. Uh... We have Fallout 76, Enter uh, a Road to Atlantic City. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is getting a Dune expansion. Uh, it's going to be released June. No, wait. Uh, the, it's going to more details are going to be released during uh, the Xbox uh, Game Showcase extended on June 13th, so two days from now. Overwatch 2 Invasion is coming. Uh, there's apparently some new content coming, and apparently if you do have the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you'll get a new hero starter pack, which with all six uh, all six new heroes and your skins and in-game cosmetics unlocked, and will be available August 10th. 
So it's a brand new uh, co-op experience, new maps, new machines, new game modes, and new experiences. Uh, Legend of Monkey Island, a new Sea of Thieves crossover. Oh, so that's what it was. It's a crossover. I thought it was some DLC. Oh, so yeah, yeah, it is some new content in the form of a collab. Okay, I got it. Okay. Um, so apparently in the Extended, they're going to give us more details and, or deep dives into Avowed, uh, Towerborn, Sanuga Saga, Hellblade 2, The Elder Scrolls Online Necrom, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, the Dune Expansion. All right. Uh, next up is the Shrebeka Game Spotlight. Coming from VGC or the Video Games Chronicle. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. So we have a Highland Song, Goodbye Volcano High, Chance of Senar, Nightscape, Shregaz the Expanse, a Telltale series, Despelot. Okay. And apparently on June 17th, those who are, are physically there, uh, part of the Chabeka Festival, uh, there will be a uh, premiere. There will be a premiere of the new documentary Hero Kojima Connecting Worlds, uh, with Kojima attending for a live Q and A session. So I'm definitely excited for that. For those of you that are, are will, will will be attending that, please uh, tag me on social or tag the show on social at the MMA Player or It's Yagu, and I would love to hear about your experiences and. Just your feedback of your of of your uh, experience. All uh, right, next up is the wholesome direct. Uh, showcased over seventy indie titles, coming from the VGC. Some of those titles are as follows: <laughs> uh, Bubblegum, uh, Galaxy, The Palace on the Hill, Karamazoo, A Little to the Left, Cupboards and Jars, Henry, Halft Head. Smushy Come Home, Little Nemo and the Guardians of Slumberland, Grim Moor Groves, High Highland Song, Trucks of Thought, Go Go Town, and Campfire Cat Cafe. Next up is the Future Games Show Summer Showcase, uh, presented by Intel. High Water, Resistor, Instinction, Star, Star Strucker, Lords of the Fallen. Oh, that looks good. Uh, Headbanger Rhythm Royale, The Last Faith, Steel Seed, Distant Bloom, The Go Flight Fantastic, and Guard, and more. Uh, now, and next, that's it for summer, the game show. Uh, Roundup will discuss more on next week's show, whatever is going to be announced. We still have, uh, let's see. We still have the uh, Ubisoft Forward. We have. Capcom's uh, showcase as well, and I believe we have more coming as well. So uh, please uh, keep to uh, keep uh, follow us on Twitch TV backslash McPlay. Those YouTube to come backslash McPlay, where the live streams will either uh, will will be live streamed or you you can catch the vibe later on YouTube as well uh, accordingly. All right, next up is the Summer Game Sam Quick uh, 2023. It did raise 2.2 million coming from Game Three. That biz. Uh, um, okay, there we go. So, Bleeding Cool reports that uh, Western Digital has revealed a uh, new storage module models coming for Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's go and. Da -da -da. Let me see. Um. So the PlayStation 5 uh, is getting uh, uh, the WD Black uh, SN850P NVMe SSD. It uh, expands up to 4 terabytes of storage. Uh, we have... Let's, get, uh, let's see, we, we said 4 terabytes, right? Okay, we don't need to read the nitty-gritty of it. Now we're going to the expansion cards for Xbox. Uh, there's going to be two models, a five, uh, 12 gigabytes and the one terabyte. Uh, did I really see the price for this one? Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so the PlayStation 5 is apparently getting three models. Uh, one terabyte for 150, two terabyte for 230, and four terabyte for 550. The Xbox is getting, uh, let's see. So one option for one terabyte for $80, apparently. Uh, yeah. But apparently it says 512 to one gig, to one terabyte, I mean. I don't know, that's weird. Uh, it doesn't say how much. Let's see. I'm going to look it up. Uh, let's see. Let's see how much it's going to be. It's going to watch the digital's website. Okay, so five hundred. Okay, so the five hundred gigs is going to be for seventy nine ninety nine, and the one terabyte is going to be for one forty nine ninety nine. All right, moving on, moving on. PlayStation won't be attending Gamescon. Uh, thank you, VGC, for that one. All right. We have Street Fighter VI has surpassed 1 million players with a free celebration gift available in-game. Coming over from GameSpot. All right, uh, Tekken 8 is getting a closed uh, test. Arriving next month, the registration is open. Thank you, Ajahn, for that. Uh, Twitch has issued an apology after I uh, not cry over their branded content changes. Coming over from GameSpot. So Twitch, uh, Twitch has a brand new content gu guidelines. Entry logos is limited to 3% of screen size. Burden video ads are not allowed. Burden display ads are not allowed. And burden audio uh, ads are not allowed. And then they apparently, that was the original guidelines. Uh, so the apology is uh, apparently today's branded uh, content policy update was overly broad. The th threat explained the, the threat explained that the purpose of the new guidelines was to clarify our existing ads policy that was intended to prohibit third-party ad networks from selling burnt and video and display ads on Twitch, which is consistent with other services. So Twitch uh, pro promised it would rewrite the guidelines to be clearer and would update the community uh, as well, accordingly. So uh, pretty much what it seems like is they messed up because of the outcry from the community because literally all the ads are pre-recorded. And they don't allow that. So, that's all it is. Because uh, apparently, it seems like they want to, they want you not to go directly with your own ads. They want uh, your ads to be, uh, to go through their ads partnership program, which they get a piece of that pie. Well, your ads, you, you get direct, uh, you get that pie entirely instead of feeding it uh, a portion to Twitch. But they, they, they want their, there are hands in every single pie. That's what it comes down to. All right, next up, we're gonna go through some tech news for you folks. And the first one up is Apple's WWC announcement round. They're coming from IGN. So uh, of course they did release their, or I should say unveiled their uh, mixed reality headset, the Apple Vision Pro with the hefty price tag of $34.99. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Uh, so apparently it's, uh, it's, uh, it'll allow you to blend digital content into the space around you with controls using your eyes, hands, and voice to interact with digital content. Uh, spatial op uh, operating system. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we have a 15-inch uh, MacBook Air. Up to 18 hours of battery life. Uh, uh, will twelve ninety nine. Uh, will feature fifteen inch. Uh, and also eleven point five inches thin. Um, five hundred units of brightness, ten eighty camera, six speakers. Uh, M two chip. Uh, the MacBook Pro with the M two Ultra chip uh, is priced at sixty nine ninety nine. Mac Studio with the M two Ultra chip. Uh, twenty-five uh, percent boost uh, compared to the M1 Max. Uh, apparently, the new chip will feature thirty percent boost over the M1. Uh, brings uh, video editing, rendering, and better 8K streaming 
can, it can support up to six, six displays and it's starting at 1999 and is going to start shipping on June 14th. Uh, this year, they got a direct disc is, uh, is coming to Mac. Uh, so, software we have iOS 17. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a standby mode when you're charging. Uh, there's going to be a name drop uh, where you can share contacts to uh, between iPhones, a new app called Journal. And. There's going to be better integration with messages, I'm messaging location data, and all that good stuff. iPad OS 17, uh, better widget uh, interactivity, customization, home screen widgets, uh, improved PDF integration, uh, Mac OS Sonama. Uh, so improved screen savers, updated widgets. Uh, better synchronization, new game mode. Safari updates and all that good stuff. Uh, TV OS uh, 17 for Apple TV, uh, FaceTime, and then you can take calls using a mixture of your TV screen, iPhone cameras, watch OS 10, uh, improvements, uh, widget interactivity, smart stack, and no updates, more relevant information. Uh, let's see, and a new Snoopy and Woodstock watch face, uh, Vision OS. Uh, It's designed for the ground up for spatial computing, focuses heavily on uh, 3D video and sound. It'll ha apparently have its own app stores. You can download specific apps uh, to work with the platform. All right, uh, speaking of Apple, uh, the Verge reports that Apple has acquired Myra, a LA-based AR startup that makes headsets for other companies in the US military. It's apparently followed uh, their WWDC announcement. And it's some more Apple news. The Verge also reports that Apple one is apparently going to turn your ca your iPhone into a pet tracking camera, uh, and the, and a new framework uh, called Doc Kit, which you can create a photo and video experiences while an iPhone is mounted and a more on where I stand. Uh, and apparently, there's going to be something in called an anima an animal body pose API, which is capable of identifying and tracking animals using your phone's camera. All uh, right, uh, Meta is testing Reels on the Quest uh, coming over from The Verge. Uh, WhatsApp is getting some new features in the form of a channel. Uh, the Verge also reports that uh, it's designed specifically for one to many uh, broadcast rather than conversation. Uh, it's a private way to follow what matters and names local and sports uh, 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 among the ways you might use it. So it seems like Twitter but without all the replies and all that good stuff. So I think this might, because I was excited for communities when it came out. And then when I tested it myself, it's useless. It's just a way to group up your, all your different groups together. And then you just reply it that way. I'm like, what's the point? There's no point of it. Uh, but otherwise I feel like this might be uh, more uh, better for that, for us, for the dynamic play, for us, for me to, for me to use, you know, with the dynamic play. So we'll just have to wait and see. And I'll test it myself. Uh, lastly, we have Logitech is uh, apparently canceling canceling the blue microphone brand, but will continue to sell the micro uh, microphones like the Yeti X under its Log uh, Logitech G brand. And apparently, there's a uh, tweet with the announcement a tw uh, with the, with a video. Okay, we're gonna watch it live. Uh, let's mute. Unmute. Okay. Okay. All right, let's. Hey everyone, you just here from Logitech G and I'm with Aaron and we're gonna give you a short update. If you followed us over the years, you know that in addition to Logitech G, we have three other brands in our family. Astro Gaming, Astro is your, your thing too? For I don't know if that was for yours too. products you know and love, like the A30 headset, Yeti microphone, and Streamcam. Well, today I'm excited to announce that all of those brands are coming together under Logitech G. Well, so what does that so mean? They're pretty much you? merging them. Well, for together. starters, uh, all of those great products are still going to continue. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a deeper integration. So I could take, for example, my Pro Mouse. 
I could combine that with my blue microphone or even my Lytra lights and configure all that in one place. We'll also be merging our social channels so we can bring all our fans and users together under the Logitech G handles. For those of you looking to learn so more, that's what it is. They're not acting it, just to merging everything together on the one, uh, on the one Stay roof. Stay tuned and look for our social channels where we've been providing more information about that. And we'll also have an FAQ. And as always, we really thank you for your support and uh, keep playing. Okay. All right, let's keep moving on, moving on. All right, looks like that's it for tech, folks. We move on to some entertainment for you. And the first one up is, uh, uh, we, we talked about this last week where there might be like an audio uh, issue quality in select theaters, which, you know, I didn't experience at all. I don't have any issues. Uh, Variety reports that Sony has sent an updated version of uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie theaters around uh, sound complaints. And they're mainly targeted at low audio levels during the introduction scene uh, in regards to uh, Gwen Stacy. All right, so that's about it on that front. Uh, apparently, new Leprechaun movies in the works at Lionsgate are coming from a Hollywood Reporter exclusive. It'll get, it'll get a fresh start uh, for a new generation. Da -da 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 -da. So that's literally it. All right, Prime Video is apparently going to be following, I believe, Netflix's. Or, or Disney, whoa, whoa, Disney Plus, one of them has ads, but they're going to be following suit. Uh, they're, that, it's inevitable, because everybody's doing ads, uh, they're going to do ads too, for $9 a month, or $15 a month, uh, no rumor about the multi ad here, or what have you, but yeah, our reports. Uh, let's see, uh, the Hollywood Reporter reports. That NBC has made decisions on two of the three uh, bubble comedies and one of its four pilots. The network has opted to cancel sophomore series, uh, Grand Crew, and the third year show, Young Rock. Uh, so apparently, St. Dennis is getting a, a series order. Uh, let's see. And that's about it. I mean, we are aware of uh, Marvel Studios' Captain America Brave New World. Uh, uh, that's what the new uh, film is going to be called. It's arriving in theaters May 3rd, 2024. Thank you, Marvels, for that tweet. Transformers Rise of the Beast has hit, uh, hit eight, over 8 million and rocks over its previews. Thank you, GameSpot, for that report. Uh, and coming from Hollywood Reporter as well. Uh, Osoka is getting an official premiere date. Of August 23rd. Thank you, The Verge, for that one. So, we'll move on to some sports news for you folks. The NBA Finals is now on game... 4? No, it's going to be uh, doing game 5. Uh, let's see. Uh, so tomorrow is going to be game 5 at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And the Denver is leading the series 3-1. to one. So, and then game 6 and 7 if necessary. Alright, and next up we have Manchester City has defeated Inter Milan 1-0. Uh, to zero, uh, To become the 2023 uh, UEFA Champions UEFA League champions. <laughs> that was that was a uh, a stutter. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Leon uh, Messi. Uh, let's see. Uh, they, he turned down Barcelona. 
and apparently will join Inter Miami, part, part of the MLS. Uh, his uh, current contract with Paris Saint Germain is expiring June thirtieth. All right, thank you, Yasmin, for that. CBS Sports reports that the 2023 Belmont Stakes uh, has a winner. Our Cangelo. Won the race in two hours, no, two minutes, 29 seconds, point twenty three. I don't know how that works. Finishing 11 uh, over two lengths ahead of Fort with uh, Tapit Trace uh, behind in the third. Okay, next up we have the 2023 US Open. Let's see, when is this thing taking place? It's like they're making it difficult. Um, okay. Let me Google it now. US Open is taking place. June 15th or the 18th in LA, the, the LA Country Club. All right. And the 23 Canadian Open uh, is apparently taking place this week in Toronto. All righty, we have uh, UFC 29 results coming from CBS Sports. So Amanda Nunes defeated Irene Aldania, a uh, unanimous decision, 50-44, 50-44, 50-43. Charles Olivia defeated uh, Banel Darice, first round on TKO. Uh, Mil Mike Malotz defeated Adam Fugat, second round submission. Dan Ike defeated N uh, Nat Nate Ned. Where, where? A unanimous decision. And that's all for the main ones. We have uh, WWE has announced a multi-year partnership with Twitch. Coming from WWE's uh, really a press release. So I returned the official, uh, return of the official WWE channel. Uh, popular WWE superstar channels, live and exclusive content. Uh, there will be a campaign and sidecast to the Monday Night Raw. Again, the WWE Universe behind the scenes is closer to the in-ring action. All right, that's it for sports, folks. And I'm going to move on to some esports. All right, already, folks. So the first one up is the Sky Sports Champion Series Battlegrounds Mobile India. Great AFK uh, Gaming reports. And it's going to be... Uh, still taking place through the 18 total 24 games uh, 24 teams are going to compete in semifinals 18 invited teams 6 qualified teams alright we have the MSC 2023 group stage is kicked off yesterday of this recording June 10th So, I guess I'll, re uh, I'll read off the teams that are taking place. From Philippines, it's uh, Echo and Blacklist International. From Malaysia is Todak. Singapore is, uh, has, or should I represent Sing Sing uh, Singapore? is RSG Slate uh, SG. From Cambodia is Burn Flash. My, no, F uh, let me see, Cambodia, my, my, Myanmar, uh, Phoenix Sports, Team Evil from Macong, um, Team Occupy, uh, Bloodthirsty Kings, and Fire Flux Impunity. Next up, the LEC, LEC 2023. Uh, uh, let's see, we'll be kicking off June 17th. Uh, we'll feature three splits, winter, spring, and summer. So the, the T 
teams that are taking that are going to be taking place are Astralis, XL Esports, Fnatic, G2 Esports, Kawaii, My Lions, SK Gaming, Team BDS, Team Her Heretics, and Team Vitality. Uh, so we reported on last week's show in regards to the L LCS player walkout, and probably they're uh, they've come together into an agreement. So, so the following term, so there is going to be a three hundred thousand dollar for the remainder of the twenty twenty three uh, season to be split amongst the ten. And the NACL teams in order to boost player opportunity and pay. 50% of all future NACL sponsorship revenue will be shared by NACL teams. The NACL will have a team participant agreement in 2024, which means that uh, the NACL teams will have to abide by minimum standards in order to receive payments or revenue shares from Wyatt Games. Minimum of 30 days uh, serve, serve runance, severance pay for the termination without cause for any player earning up to one point. Uh, 1.5 times a league minimum salary and 15 days notice for any player competing on a visa. Players and teams will share equal representation on a committee to determine any future changes to the practice schedule in a collaborative manner. Teams will take action to ensure all foreign players will have mandated healthcare available to them by the first day they are in the U.S. And right in the LSC, LSC, LCS, PA will sign a Memorandum of Understanding that establishes a meeting and notice parameters to ensure all parties are aligned before any future decisions are locked and communications are made. All right, next up we have the list of the Dota teams that have qualified for the Bali Major 2023 from AFK Gaming. So the list are as follows: uh, Tanger Esports. I'm not gonna read the the roster. I'm just gonna read the the teams. Uh, Tundra Esports. Uh, we have Game on Gladiators, Quest Esports, Team Liquid, Team Aster, PSG, LGD, Invictus Gaming, Azore, Shopify's Rebellion, Nor Known, Noun. Uh, Bleed Esports, uh, Blacklist International, Ex Exer Creation, Bed Boom, Nine Pandas, Team Spirit, Evil Geniuses, Breast Coast, and that's it. Uh, next up, we have the uh, VCTs, uh, Ascension Pacific, all the teams that have qualified. Uh, we have a Xerzia, Fancy United Esports, Bleed Esports, D Plus, Scars, One Team Esports, and Naos Esports, Boom Esports, Bonkers, and Orejotan. And now we have the VCT 2023 Ascension EMA. All qualified teams are Apex, CGN Esports, Case Esports, Digital Athletics, Team Falcons, Dice Ray, Gentle Mat. My gentle, gentle mates, uh, S A W or G T C esports. I don't, I don't know what they mean by that. Ascend or Enterprise esports, and to be determined for that EMEA plan. And now we have the LCK tournament of three coming from AFK Gaming. Is currently taking place. It's going to be. It's going to conclude. Looks like July 2nd. All right, we have uh, uh, AFK Game Reports. Let's see. So it looks like Mind Control and, oh uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Yuma and Mikey were added to Enigma Galaxy's roster. Uh, we have FBZ joining Team Secret uh, after Boom's departure. Thank you, AFK, for that. So, Revenant Esports has completed their MGMI lineup for the upcoming tournament. We're signing two new players, Fierce and Apollo. Joining uh, previously announced players, we have Sensei and MJ. Thank you, FK, for that. 
uh, the OT Esports that OG has parted ways with the uh, CSGO uh, captain ahead of uh, CS CSGO 2. Nico, uh, Riot is imp implementing some new changes in regards to uh, League of Legends. Uh, the OT Esports reports. Ranked mode. There's going to be a new Emerald rank for summoners to dive into, which will be placed between the Platinum and Diamond ranks. Uh, so that's about it. It looks like that's all we got for you on esports. I guess we'll move on to the last and final segment music. And the first one up is coming from Billboard. Uh, so President Joe Biden has announced a Juneteenth concert at the White House, an exclusive. On the South Lawn on June 13th. Uh, I heard reports that Lane Wilson will be joining Dirks Bentley and uh, Ellie King to host the 50, uh, 50th uh, CMAs. So I heard also reports that Rick Ross is recording Gucci Mane and Meek Mill to perform at his car and bike show. Uh, let's see, we have a uh, rolling loud in Miami, uh, 2023. Uh, let's see. Uh, Animal AA and Al and Al Alpha will be added to the lineup. Uh, from uh, July 21st to 20, uh, July 21st to 23rd, and live in Miami. Uh, I heard reports uh, also, uh, let's see, uh, so um, we have a lineup for, uh, by Kelly Clarkson, Little Big Town, Par uh, Parker McCullen, many others, in regards to a tribute to the country legend, uh, Ronnie Millsap, for his last ever Nashville show. So hip hop's fiftieth anniversary is taking place. Uh, let's see. So August eleventh at the uh, Yankee, New York's uh, Ye uh, Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, uh, there will be a live performance concert featuring Run DMC, Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, Lil Wayne, many others. So a Queen of Me tour. Uh, from I Heart Reports, uh, Shania Twan, uh, Twain will be joining forces with Tanya Tucker, uh, Rihanna Jude. All right. Uh, next up, we have City Girls uh, dropped their latest single, I Need a Thug, ahead of their, uh, I guess, upcoming EP release. Carrie Underwood has revealed another track in her Denim and Rhinestones era. Take me out. Uh, thank you, I have for that. It looks like Nell Horan uh, celebrated his new album release uh, on I Heart Radio. He had an album release party. The show. Nicki Minaj uh, has a release date for her first album in five years. Coming from I Heart. So it'll be released October 10th of this year. So uh, Janelle Monet's uh, album will be dropping. Her upcoming LP, The Age of Pleasure. Uh, it's already dropped. All right. Uh, we have Nicki Minaj, uh, Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice has announced... Uh, Barbie World has a release date of June 23rd. The weekend uh, will drop new music from the idol every week. Thank you, Bubba, for that. And lastly, we have 
Billboard, uh, top five out of Billboard's Hot 100 chart as of the week of June 12th, 2023. Number one, Morgan Wallen's Last Night. Number two, Karma by Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. Miles Cyrus Flowers at number three. All My Life uh, by Lil Durk featuring J. Cole at number four. And Rima and Selena Gomez's uh, Calm Down is at number five. So it looks like it's all we have for you, folks. So you guys are interested in some reading mail, some feedback? Here's how you can contact us. We want to know your feedback or thoughts or any questions you may have for us. Please send us some reading mail under the description over. Then your voice is over the income to the fan backslash the MAC play. Or even via email to readymail at mplay.com. Or even if you guys are listening to us on Spotify. Uh, there will be a question following each and every episode to uh, listen to your thoughts, your feedback, any questions you may have for us. You can reply to us directly that way as well. And your, of course, your feedback will, will help uh, help uh, will help us, uh, I guess, have us more of a discussion as well uh, here on the show. So thank you guys so much uh, for making us a part of your day. We should join the conversation later on Discord. You can click on the bot pages or description of this episode later on. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. Uh, you can leave us a review just for your favorite platform. Be sure to follow us on Twitch, on YouTube, on social media. And just help to, uh, help us reach even more listeners, even more viewers. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. And until next time, folks. <laughs>